Detectives are trying something new as they work to solve a dozen cold cases in Calaveras County. They're aiming to reach more people to unearth new clues. Yeah, the sheriff's office says that it's already making a difference. Case Area 3's Anahita Jafari shows us this new effort to get justice. It's a crime that has stumped Calaveras County deputies since 2015. Who is the woman whose body was left beneath this bridge and who was responsible? During the collection of the remains, it, it appeared that the body had been weighed down and was placed there through nefarious action. So it wasn't a simple boating accident or missing person. It's more than likely an unsolved homicide. Nine years later, answers in this case still elude deputies. Well, obviously trying to figure out what happened. We're also trying to find identity. Um, she has a name. Right now it's Paris Ferry Jane. She has a name, she has a family, she has people that loved her. Somebody out there knows what happened and we're just trying to put the pieces together. And this crime is one of 12 cold cases the sheriff's office hopes to solve. In April of 2018, Jack Watts was found on the side of the road near McCallum Hill murdered. He's one of our active investigations that we're uh, seeking to find justice for. The sheriff's office says this is the first year they have brought attention to these cold cases using social media. It brings closure to the family to answer questions that they are They've probably been asking for years, um, and it helps them in their healing process. Cold cases like this one and many others can be found on the Calaveras County Sheriff's Office Facebook page. In Calaveras County, I'm Anahita Jafari, KCRA 3 News. Well, if anyone has any information on any of these cold cases, reach out to the Calaveras County Sheriff's Office. Family.